people in D.C. relying on SNAP benefits could see up to a 10 percent increase next year. Today, the D.C. Council voted unanimously to set aside excess revenue to make it happen. D.C. News Now's Daniel Hamburg talked with advocates about how big of an impact this could have on some families. And Daniel, more than 140,000 people in D.C. rely on the program to put food on the table. Exactly, Chris. This could have a very big impact. After the federal government ended its pandemic era assistance for SNAP benefits, 90,000 people in D.C. saw their uh, benefits decrease. And now the D.C. Council is stepping in to fill that void. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? With no opposition, the D.C. Council voted to use almost $40 million in excess revenue to supplement SNAP benefits for households qualifying for up to 10% of their federal maximum monthly allotment. SNAP is really a lifeline for struggling families, for senior citizens, for people with disabilities. Since pandemic era funding went away, some families in D.C. have been hurting. For some, they went from as high as, especially our older adults, went from as high as $283 per month down to the local minimum, which is $30. I had a D.C. native uh, senior citizen who called my office after his SNAP benefits dropped down to only $7 a month. Um, and all I could do was, you know, connect him to, you know, other organizations like Bread for the City and mutual aid groups. If there is enough money, households could see an average increase of $47 a month starting January 1st. That will be temporary. And it's not a sure deal, as this hinges on how much surplus there actually is this September. Chairman Phil Mendelson has his doubts. The chances of our revenues growing to this magnitude is slim. Uh, I certainly support uh, the intent. Councilmember Janice Lewis George sees it differently. We've basically consistently seen that the CFO comes and says our revenue estimates exceed expectations. This has been consistent from year to year. Now, in addition to the $40 million uh, we just mentioned, the amendment today also included $20 million if there is enough excess revenue for uh, those who are uh, excluded workers in D.C. We're talking about undocumented workers and also uh, those returning from being incarcerated. Again, all hinging on if there is enough surplus to cover all of these expenses. We're live in Northwest. Daniel Hamburg, D.C. News Now.